feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes ask Peter nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. When you start rapping like that, you gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up I saw so many niggas dying, had to get strapped up I'm sensitive, I'm off the Henny, don't you get clapped up If you told you know the code, you don't get dapped up You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, rightsgangcoding.com for the merchandise, you heard me right What's poppin' with the population? I got my guy with me Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies bah, Happy holidays, y'all Right, 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 oh, right man. So... What are we what, what what we here for, man? What are we talking about right now? What is this? Listen, all right. Just to, I'm just letting you know right now. If you worried about any monetization, it's not happening in this video. Okay, let's we're just, we're just gonna get that out right, the let's, way. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Right, so 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 so. <laughs> You right, because right. I'm about and, and, to say some facts. I, and I get it, and I get it. You know, I, I feel like, and I feel like, uh huh. Uh, when I saw your tweet this morning. Mm -hmm. I felt like we should come have a conversation because you know that's the best way mm -hmm. to you know accommodate a large spectrum of people because of you know we have a small contingent on Twitter and things like that but then you have a larger scale of people who see this content mm -hmm. on YouTube. So what it is is um there's a card that's going to happen mm -hmm. and the first battle I've seen is Coffee Brown versus JC mm -hmm. and the card is called Ends versus Beasts. Okay. Ends versus Beasts. Ends versus Beasts. Mm -hmm. What is it, man? Just go ahead. It's what? What's it called, man? Go ahead, get it out, man. The name of the card is Niggas versus Bitches, or Niggas and Bitches. Okay. Um, couple things. Right. One, why? I mean, like you know, like to me, if if I'm making a card, you know what I'm saying? You've you've heard other card names before, you know, ladies and gents, mm -hmm. kings versus mm -hmm. queens. You know, I would at least, you know, you know, Mr. versus Mrs. or or uh, you could do date night, domestic dispute. We'll take it that far. You know right. what I'm saying? But when you straight go niggas and bitches, it's like, I, just, I don't know. I've it, seen another battle on there is uh, Chef Trez versus Diablo. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they're releasing the battles. It's, it's a Flint, Michigan card. Mm -hmm. It's not a big league, but it's a Flint, Michigan thing. You know, Flint is Flint. You know, if you ever been to Flint, you know Flint. Um, but, uh... What I will say is this, right? And I, I, I'm not done Go getting ahead. your opinion, mm -hmm. but I want to throw this out there. Go ahead. Right? I know there's two sides of the spectrum where you have the people who say, well, in the battles, that's all they're going to say to each other anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, why are we moving the goalposts? Mm -hmm. They call each other this all the time. Mm -hmm. that's, what the, that's what some people are going to say. Right. So I put up a poll, and um, I just wanted to poll the people, you know what I mean? And, um, I asked the question, I said, uh, and, I, and, I, and I quote, I said, uh, a battle rap event called Niggas vs. Bitches. Thoughts? I'm cool with it or nah, pack it up, fam, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Almost 500 votes and 75% said nah, pack it up. Okay. And 25% said I'm cool with it. Okay. Some of the comments just said, uh, I'm not cool with it. Then someone else said, battle rap is an urban thing, but I'm not a fan of giving powers to others. Example. Everyone and their mother is saying nigga because the event is titled nigga, but their ancestry were owned by anyone praised on the government's currency. Mm. So then someone else said, uh, mm, that was deep. I mean, I guess if the battlers are cool with it, but damn. Someone else said, uh, we need to normalize speaking with respect and accepting respect. Mm -hmm. Then Steez9211 said it's the lack of respect for me and creativity. Mm. And then um, someone okay. said, I guess this is it. A little too much self-depreciation, sexism, and misogyny. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said, I would not attend nor stream it. And I'm just reading the comments. Yeah. Uh, damn, damn sure ain't no Caucasians on this card. That would make it weird. Uh, someone said, I'm very cool with it. Or if it was all men. Right, then another person <laughs> said, we as the people be so ass backwards. Uh, I can't even, <laughs> a white dude text, I can't even say the name of the card. No, <laughs> like, come on. All right, so the, the point being is, I'm not jumping out on a limb here to be like, all right, I just feel like that maybe we could have chose a different name for the card. That's all I'm saying. That's the initial reaction. It's like, ah, if I hear a card, niggas and bitches, it's like, all right, well, I, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, if URL dropped a card and it was just called Night of Niggas, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to be up in arms. Right. If, if, it was, if Queen of the Ring dropped a card and it says, bitches with bars, 
No, no, no. You get what I'm saying? The point of it is, it's I get that everybody is saying, you know, but they call each other that under uh, the sun. They call us that, and that's this. But it's not what you. It's not what they call you. It's what you answer to. Yeah. You mean to tell me on a stage where the platform or the event is called niggas and bitches? Eventually, a nigga or a bitch is going to get on the stage and they answer to that. Mm -hmm. I just don't want y'all to think that. That's. I don't care about none of that. I really care about the bars. But it's all about the presentation. Make it sound good. There's so many right. other names out there that could have been done. Is there a line? Is there a fine line in battle rap? No, I'm, I'm already ready to tell you it's a jagged line. It's cool for some and it's not cool for most. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, if you're not even a big... I, even if you're trying to um, uh, 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 do this for it, to have somebody talk about it, you got us talking about it. Right. Now the event got to be the shit. Cause you gotta be like, yo, the best battle, of the, the best battle event of the year was niggas and bitches. It just, it don't sound right all the way around. How do we appeal to the masses if we keep conforming to the same bullshit? Right. Um. So I wanna, um, I wanna read from um, what Debo, Queen of the Ring, salutes Debo and everything that he's got going on personally, Debo. professionally. Uh, you know, he did his thing. He definitely, uh, he definitely helped bring. Female battle rap to a higher perspective. Absolutely. This year, because Absolutely. I, for one, I do have a relationship. We speak all the time. We spoke yesterday about different things, and um, I, I do commend and applaud the fact that you know he took a lot of hard work to bring female battle rap back. Because female battle rap had a couple down years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There was females that were getting battles, but it wasn't where it's at right now. And after having a royalty, mm -hmm. after having kings versus queens, after having these events. Watch you know, the watch the throne. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Female battle rap mm -hmm. is, is in that bag again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they have events, especially, you know, on the caffeines and all of that, we, we watch, watch it. it. You know we watch it. We watch it. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking, they booking. Hey. Uh, he said, good morning. I woke up thinking about something. I spent 10 years of my hard, dedicated work to make the world look at black women in battle rap as queens, not hoes, bitches, or domestic anything. I will not support these platforms. That's the opposite of my struggle. Then he also went on to say, Kings vs. Queens was a big statement. Them seven women, more than history for my brand. Mm -hmm. To stand next to the best brand in battle rap was history in itself. We did that. No other league. No Now people taking the platform and fucking it up. I got to take a stand on it. He said, I'm a grown man that employs queens, not bitches. Remember, words have power. Cause if I was to call these ladies bitches or hoes, I'd have done been out of here. Y'all been wanting Bruh. me to slip up for so so long, and I'm corny for respecting women in battle rap. Mm -hmm. How crazy is that? Dear kings and queens, I mean dear queens, do not let these people treat you any less than a queen. Cause when that notion that you're not out there, it's hard to get back your respect, especially from real brothers such as myself. Kings and Queens, Volume Two. Coming very soon. That was his thoughts. You know? So what you think? I'm I'm all for it, and I and I know Debo. I, I'm on Debo's side on that end. Like it's, I get the talk. I get all of the 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 yeah. We call each other that in a battle. I'm all for that. Jay Z got a song called Bitches and Sisters, but his album isn't called Bitches and Sisters. You right. understand what I'm saying? It's it's the 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 whole overarching thing of the event itself. Right. It just has to have some. It just has to have a better name. Right. If you build, not to mention what we do on this platform, to some it's niggas that get on cam, mm -hmm. but for most it's respect. You got to put the respect where it's at. Well, how how we hold our platform, we not just niggas with a camera. Right. We hold ours. We hold ourselves to a certain standard, and we have to hold battle rap to that certain standard. Battle rap is not a novelty thing. This is real. I I hold it. Higher than a lot of my music selection. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So like I just uh, I hate I, my music. I hate it when a nigga just come in and fuck up the, the fuck up a good thing. Mm -hmm. I hate it when somebody try to come in here and just try to like uh, uh, oversaturate it with bullshit. Don't mm -hmm. give me no bullshit. Give me the real. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I mean, like I said, um, you went and now here's one of the things, right? We as fans. Cannot jump out the window and get all hyped and crazy when an avocado does what he did. You know what I'm saying? And everybody stood to fight that fight 
against equality and you know having people of another race say something bad about black people mm. when we're openly willing to facilitate a league i don't like what they say on the cards and n words and b's and all that in the battles that's one thing but to push a brand a, a branded card niggas versus bitches then what happens if white people are re recapping the battle and they say, oh yeah, this event was off of niggas vs. bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna be ready to wild out on them. Nah, but we titled it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the ba if the National Basketball Association was <laughs> niggas balling all the time, mm -hmm. instead of National Basketball, you can't be mad if a white person say niggas balling all the time. Hey, because you if you ask a white person who says that they're a Pac fan, ask them, what is Pac's first album? <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Strictly for my N words. No, no. <laughs> right, right, right. No, right, 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 right. no. Um, you, if you're gonna, uh, how do we appeal to the masses? You gotta make it. What's my favorite word? Palatable. Mm -hmm. if, it's it's it, it's the art of perception. Give me. If you give me a card that sounds grand, it's a it's an elevator pitch. Me, you got ten seconds to wow me. To impress me. Hey man, I got a battle rap card coming up. Alright, cool. What's the name of the battle rap card? Niggas vs. Bitches. I'm out. Ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> my grandma would tell me, don't, you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You see what I'm saying? Like, no! <laughs> and, and I mean that, man. This one just doesn't cut the mustard, man. I, it's like, you know, I, I, I see where you're going. Mm -hmm. But when you've had... I don't like where we going with it, though. When you had bigger <laughs> leagues like Queen of the Ring, put on male versus female. You had Rare Breed Entertainment put on male Lady, versus ladies female. Ladies versus gents. We, we had these happen before. Just to come out the gate mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and we don't even know your league? Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, that's rough. It's like a white rapper coming out and the album's called Bullshit. That's rough. <laughs> that's rough. Like, wait, but this is, this is really bull, yeah, because that's what this is. No, no, no. That's rough, that's rough. No. Yeah, it is what it is, but uh, Yep, yeah, I'm, um, yeah, it's a hard pass for me. You already know what it is. <laughs> niggas versus... Niggas versus bitches? Niggas versus bitches. Sir. Sir, <laughs> golly. Y'all got shit with this. <laughs> niggas said we ran out of names, yo. It's aggressive. It's aggressive. We ain't got nothing else. It's provocative. It gets the people going. <laughs> no. about? You gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up I saw so many niggas dying, had to get strapped up I'm sensitive, I'm off the Henny, don't you get clapped up If you told you no know the cold, you don't get dapped up